A winner in Domino's, which means a loser is your local pizzeria. 1994, e-commerce was born in Santa Cruz with the first order online for a mushroom and pepperoni pizza from Pizza Hut. Pizza continues to be, believe it or not, a barometer of digital disruption. The latest victim? Independent pizzerias, which have lost 21% market share in the past decade. As online ordering has grown 300% faster than dine-in. Domino's is winning with an early and creative bet on digital. Their market cap has grown from less than $300 million to a staggering $7.4 billion in eight years. A winner, Under Armour, one of the few brands that recognizes where their cohort is actually consuming media. Under Armour's latest ad campaign has a 50-50 split between TV and digital spend. That's a big shift from the previous campaign's 70-30 split. Under Armour's reported 23 consecutive quarters of 20% plus growth, partly fueled by the success of their endorsed athletes. Their big data strategy for analyzing, identifying, and recruiting athletes before they blow up seems to be working. We applied the same big data algorithm to my life, and we found a future of a guy in a midlife crisis driving a Chrysler LeBaron with erectile dysfunction. That data is a little bit old, but the Corinthian leather never gets old. A loser, mere cat, or maybe mere can't. Wow, the copywriters here, really. Just excellent, outstanding quality. Well done, guys. Anyways, at this time, last year, live streaming app Meerkat was the big news at South by Southwest. After a rough year, the company has abandoned its roots and is now becoming a video social network. At the end of February, Meerkat's iOS ranking among social apps fell to 445th. Meanwhile, Periscope has been consistently in the top 10 since January. Twitter and Facebook offer live streaming products that have the advantage of a built-in user base of hundreds of millions of people. And Amazon recently aired its first live stream, a QVC-style show about fashion. With cable viewership in free fall and tentpole TV event advertising costs rising as impact declines, digital live stream is going to be big. A loser, Uber, and their new logo. This is literally amateur hour in the world of branding. They've been so busy making my life easier and destroying the middle class that they can't get the basics right. How do you maintain equity? You don't mess with the logo. What the fuck are you thinking? How stupid, Uber. When it comes to rebranding, an evolution is better than a revolution. Just check out this evolution from the Obama to the Trump party of angry, undereducated white males to the 2020 recently formed Prostate Enlargement Party catering to angry, overeducated white males. We'll see you next week. <laughs>